Right. So I have been getting many requests for this question, which is based on mass spectro spectrometry, and it came in CSI and in June 2017 paper for four months. Okay. Now, if you understand the concept, you know th this uh, this concept of isotopic uh, substitution or isotopic effect, then this question is a gift. I mean, this question came for four marks and it's very simple. Otherwise, it can get a little tough to understand, right? So, uh, I'll tell you the method to solve it and then how to save time, okay? Because sometimes what happens, even though you know the method, even then you uh, you know make the mistake of lengthening the question. Even though the question can be done in a shorter shorter format, you tend to you know take a lot of time. Okay, so that should not happen with such questions. So I'll just tell you the method right now. Okay, so it has been given that we have given we have been given this uh, radium chloride radical radical cation, which shows a peak in mass spectrometry. Okay, and it shows a peak at 226 mz value m by z value. Okay, that is mass by charge ratio, and since the charge is one, so th that basically means the mass. Okay, so the mass is 226, 228 and 230. And they've asked what will be the intensities given the relative abund abundance. Okay, so these are the four options and these are the re relative abundance of all the uh, all the atoms present in this. So 191 iridium is one isotope present which has a relative abundance of 37%. Okay, and uh, we have iridium 193 which has a relative abundance of 63%. Then we have 35 chlorine, another uh, isotope which has an abundance of 76 and then 37 chlorine which has an abundance of 24. So the abundance is given to us and they have asked the intensity of these three peaks and this is the uh, the, the, uh, the, the mz value that we have obtained, uh, sorry, the, the atom that we have to find out for. Now see, 226 is the mass. Now how can we get 226 out of these all four given options? If we have 191 iridium, so 191 plus 35 will give us 226, okay? But are there any other combinations by which we can get 226? The answer is no. Why? Because 193 plus 35 will give 228 and 193 plus 37 will give us, uh, two, uh, will give us 230. And uh, similarly, if we do 191 plus 35, it will give 226 and 191 uh, plus uh, 37 will give us 228. So we do not have any other combinations by which we can get 226. The only combination we have is 191 iridium and 35 chlorine. Okay, so if we apply that combination, we will just multiply the abundance. So the abundance of 191 iridium is 37 percent, that is equal to 0.37. Okay, and what is the relative abundance of uh, 35 chlorine? It is 76 percent, so into 0.76. So this will be the intensity of 226. Okay, so I'll just write it right on, on top of it. This is the abundance of 226. Now, if you have to calculate for 228, now how do we calculate for 228? Now, 228, what all combinations are there? We can have 191 iridium and 37 chlorine. That will give us 228. Okay, so that is one combination. So I write down over here 191 iridium has abundance of 37%. So 0.37. Okay, into the abundance of 35, uh, 228 we are calculating, so 37 chlorine, so 24, so into 0.24. This is one combination, okay? This is one combination. Can we have some other combination? Yes, we can have. We can have 193 iridium and 35 chlorine, that also will give us 228. 193 plus 35 will give us 228. So 193 plus 35, 228. So the other combination is, now see, that is where I want to just, uh, you know, just I'll take you 30 seconds and explain you one thing that whatever you learn, you know, whatever you have learned in class 10th, 11th, 12th or any anywhere you, you know, whenever you gain some knowledge, it will always be useful, okay? So for example, in this particular topic, if you have studied permutations and combinations well and you are thorough with that mathematical concept, permutations and combinations, then you will understand what I am what I'm about to do now, right? So this is one, this, this is one way we can get to 28. The other way we can get is if we have 193 iridium and 35 chlorine. So that is 0.63 into 0.76. That will also give us 228. So there are two combinations, okay, for 228. One is 0 0.372, 0 0.37 into 0 0.24. 0 0.37 is 191 iridium plus 37 chlorine. That is 0.24, okay. Oh, sorry, I made a mistake. Uh, 
chloride. Sorry. Uh, so we have one combination 191 iridium plus 37 chlorine. So that is 0.37 into 0.24. The other combination is 193 iridium plus 35 chlorine. That will also give us 228. So 0.63 into 0.76. Now why did I add this plus sign you must be thinking. Now that's where your permutation combination concept will be utilized. See, there is something called as a AND or OR. So there is something called, uh, I'll write down over here, AND and OR. So if it's a OR in permutations and combinations, if it's a OR then you write plus sign and if it's a AND, AND you multiply. What I mean by OR or AND is, see, over here we can have two combinations, either this or this. Both cannot exist simultaneously, right? Either we have uh, in, in the radium chloride, either this will be 191 and this will be 37, right? Or this will be 193 and this will be 35, to forget, forgetting to 28. Both 191 and 37 and 193 and 35 cannot exist in the same uh, molecule, right? It cannot happen that they exist at the same time in the same molecule. So that is why we are using this or this. And whenever this OR comes, you have to add a plus sign. And whenever you are talking about AND, like this and this, when you are talking like in, the, in this way, then you add plus sign, uh, multi multiplication sign. So this is the concept in, uh, of AND and OR that I have studied in uh, permutations and combinations uh, and I still remember that, right? So anything that you study uh, and, uh, you know, anything that you study and uh, that would never go to waste, right? So do not think why am I studying this, this won't be useful. Everything in this world, whatever you study, is going to be useful to you, right? Anyway, so uh, this we get. Now for 230, for 230 again we have only one combination. Which one? We can have 193 and 37. So 0.63 into 0.24. Abundance of 193 radium is 63 and abundance of 37 chlorine is 0.24. Now is this now now even if you have done this, I have seen some people will solve this whole value. Solve this value, solve this value, add this, you'll get something. Solve this 0 0.37 to 0 0.76, get some value, 0 0.63 to 0 0.24, get some value. Okay? So now uh, when you are doing something like this, it will take a hell lot of time because you do not have the calculators. In gate or even if you have the calculators, still Calculating this then taking out the ratio is going to take a very lengthy amount of time. So what you can do is, out of these three you can clearly see that this is a sum of two values. 0 0.63 into 0 0.76 and 0 0.37 into 0 0.24. So this is going to be the greatest value. Okay, and if you compare this 0 0.37 into 0 0.76 and 0 0.63 into 0 0.24, right? So if you see 63 multiplied by 24, it will be somewhere around... Uh, 1440 and if you multiply this this will be around 2200 something you know you can just you can uh, like, like you can calculate the decimals later but if you multiply the 76 by 37 it will be somewhere around uh, 2, 260 270 to 2700 or something right and this will be around uh, 1500 or something so you know this is the greater value so you can you can show this has the second highest value so the ratio will be this will be given the highest ratio of 1 and these will be <coughs> and, the, and this will be given the third so this will be the lowest of the lowest intensity this will be of the highest intensity and this will be somewhere in between if you see the options there is only one option that satisfies this condition where the first value is of second highest intensity the second value is the highest intensity and the third value is of the lowest intensity just look at all the options over here this one is given the highest intensity the first one so this is wrong over here, the second one is given the highest intensity, but the third one has been given the second highest intensity. And that we have calculated that the third one has the lowest intensity. So again, this is not the option. And in the last one, we have been given the third one as the highest intensity. So this is also not the answer. So that's why the option is number one. So do not, so you have to do smart work and know the concept as well to crack the exam. That's why it is a little difficult to crack because you have to be smart and you have to know the concept as well simultaneously. So if you possess these two things, then it will be very easy to crack the exam, right?